Uh, okay, let's go to patch notes. Let's read the patch notes. Oh. I'm going to read them from here. That way I don't have to pull up a big white screen and blind everybody. How's that? Okay, 16.2 uh, patch notes. Let's take a peek sneak. Uh, we have tactical gear. They have two new tactical gear items being added to PUBG. We have the tactical pack, which you may have already seen some hate on the internets about. Um, I'll keep my opinion reserved, I think, for now. The tactical gear, or tactical pack rather, is essentially a big backpack that takes up a primary weapon slot, and it can fit four items inside of it. Those four items can range from almost anything to other weapons, EMT gear, uh, heels, extra helmets, vests, etc. Uh, you cannot put in a tactical pack you inside a breath of fresh air on the internet, another tactical pack. Uh, Sticky, thanks for the follow. But um, it does have a, a weight limit inside of it that limits some items from being put in there. But here are some... Some examples that give you SMG, AR, DMRs, mountain bikes, etc., etc. Uh, they're going to be available on every map. Normal matches, custom modes, training modes, okay, etc. Okay, what else? Um, you can put stackable items, but a weight limit of 60 per slot applies to a stack item. So what that means, like, let's say a first aid. A first aid weighs 10 capacity. If you have six first aids stacked together at 60 capacity one slot of the tactical pack could fit six first aids that's really really cool in terms of team um like team play i, I love that idea of being able to stack the same item up to a certain amount of times uh tactical items are only accessible by the carrier so if you're wearing it you can only have access to them you can drag and drop them i'll show you guys uh some footage of that in a little bit let's say you got an m4 okay and you got all your attachments on your M4. If you swap this, Barrel doesn't automatically get whatever the M4 has. But if the M4 is here and I pick it up off the ground, it will. All the attachments swap over if you pick it up off the ground. So that same rule does not apply when it's inside of a tactical bag. It only, it'll, it'll keep whatever's already on the thing. That can be a good thing and a bad thing. The real like OP thing is that it stays loaded. So if I load my M4 and I put my M4 here and I take my barrel, let's say I run out of ammo in the barrel. And I go to M4, M4 is ready to go. Like the M4 does not need to be reloaded once it's pulled out of the bag. So whatever the weapon state of it was, before you um, put it in the bag, that's what it stays. All right, the next thing up is spotter scope tactical gear. Again, this is going to replace a primary weapon slot. I will show you some footage of it here in just a sec. And this is going to spawn on every map, be available in every mode. Uh, you have to use it in ADS mode. So it's not like a set and forget item. You have to actually put it up and ADS it. And it's going to have a fixed a fixed 4x zoom magnification i kind of wish you'd be able to zoom in and out personally but it's got a fixed 4x zoom and it's going to give you real-time distance targeting at whatever you're aimed at so if you aim at a, a, a sniper behind a hill uh, it'll tell you the exact distance of that sniper so that you can dial in your scope or tell your team hey they are x amount of meters away that way they can dial in their scopes and hit their shots uh, you can also use that with mortars finally so that might be interesting a couple of key things with the spotter is that um anytime you scope in on somebody it'll put a white little marker what they call a passive marker over everybody that's in your field of vision then if you use this little square here this little square is like your targeting reticle if you put that little square over an enemy they'll get a red triangle, which you can kind of see in this picture. And again, I'll show you some, some footage in a little bit. That red triangle then turns into an active marker. That active marker will stay and follow that target for seven seconds, even behind walls, smoke grenades, multiple pieces of cover or other enemies. That means he's an active, actively marked target. Let's see all those red ones. Those will stay red for seven seconds, no matter where they go. 
so i can see the red markers and my teammates can see the red markers for seven seconds but if i don't put the the rectangle on you see how they're white right now that's what's called a passive marker and the passive marker can only be seen by you by the person holding this thing so he's red every one of my team could see the red marker now they know exactly where he is even if he moves behind a smoke grenade or whatever but you see how he's white he only shows up for me and if i take that off he's no longer white but if i scope in and boom turn him red i can put a live ping anywhere i want still and look you know exactly where that guy's going for seven seconds that's gonna be really really strong man there's no other word for it it's gonna be really strong okay what else uh a little change a quality of life improvement to the uh drone all of your friendly drones now have green lights all the way around the drone enemy drones now have red lights all the way around it instead of it before being one green and one red on the left and right side now if the drone's in the air and it's a friendly it's going to be all green if the drone's in the air and it's an enemy it's going to be all red so there's also a training mode if you remember a couple patches ago i was talking about the new aim lab aim lab and sound lab coming to PUBG. now it's here i'll show you again some footage in a minute but it's actually this can be really really cool this is going to uh put you against bots um that shoot at you they don't do any damage to you but it basically trains you to be able to know which direction people are shooting you from how far away they're shooting you from and it helps you um adjust and turn and snap onto targets more correctly when getting shot at from multiple directions so really cool and again i'll show you some more of that in a later video uh those are going to be entered in by the helipad so in order to get to the sound lab on the training mode just go to the helipad there's an option to get into it map service rotation finally sandhawk is out haven is in so right now you'll find erringal miramar tago karakin and haven those are the five playable maps uh, for this update. In ranked, it's going to be Erangel, Miramar, and Tego. Next month, Sanok is supposed to be coming back with uh, some re reverts and revamps. A, a, uh, a revamp 3, version 3. Okay, so we've got a couple of Karakin updates, which I haven't seen myself yet. They basically added more cover to the terrain. They've reduced the overall height of some of the mountaintops to make it less OP uh, for one team to be on top and be able to third party everybody. And they added um, just some more rocks, boulders, trees, and walls to give players cover when coming off of hills and mountains. So all, all really good stuff, I think. I, I tweeted about this earlier today. I don't know if you guys saw it. This is a little, uh, a little hint at a new feature. Care package smoke. The colorblind setting will no longer apply to the red smoke from care packages due to a new feature to be added in a later update. I think what they're talking about here is being able to have a um, personal red zone strike be called using a smoke bomb or a, a, a smoke designation marker. If you remember the fantasy royale mode that just came out a few months ago, uh, one of the characters classes threw a smoke um, grenade and I think it was like a purple smoke if I remember right and a few seconds after it here comes a freaking missile strike you know from from the heavens and boom and it destroys whoever the heck is right there I think that's what they're hinting at that's going to be an, an actual lootable item in the game I don't think it's going to deal destruction uh, to buildings and stuff like that but I think that's that we're, that's what we're going to be looking at uh, which is really cool uh big 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 changes to item spawn balances erringal and miramar have huge loot buffs absolutely huge loot buffs <clears throat> i won't go over all of them you can read them but just the gist of it is all of the spawn rates have been increased shotguns have been decreased healing and throwables have been decreased not sure why that happened um, but yeah, so overall going to be a really good, uh, loot buff to both of those maps. I think it's called a, uh, D D dash eight. Don't type that in chat. Login event. What's PUBG thinking? D dash <laughs> eight. Whatever they thinking with that. Uh, so we got a new login event, which it says March 8th through March 16th. Obviously that's just test server. When this comes to live server, 
you're going to be able to do this on live server but what it is is we just hit uh log in every day and hit claim and it's a daily login bonus so you get a bp 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 and then if you log in consecutively two days in a row you get one oh you get a level up coupon and then if you um log in three days in a row you get another level up coupon these are level up for the survivor pass so that's a free level up out of the 50 uh 50 ranks that you can get on the survivor pass so that's actually really really cool nice survivor pass let's take a look let's take a look man so the only time we've seen the survivor pass is if you see my latest video we, we saw the leaks that uh asj Safix put out on his twitter uh but now here's our first time to actually see it like how they look in game let me make sure i got all my settings on ultra of course so i want to make it look the most prettiest graphics everything's on ultra we're up 1440p okay Res resume here we go so <clears throat> upgrade to premium uh oh all right so you 990 g coin is the premium survivor pass and that'll let you work on all the, the ranks and unlock everything up to level 50. the uh survivor pass plus i guess whatever you want to call it is extra g coin holy shit it's a lot of extra g coin wow okay it's a 990 g coin for just the pass and it's 3200 g coin if you want 30 levels was to get it gets you more than halfway complete since this is a test server and we have free g coin i'm gonna do this but just be aware that might not be a great value if you're planning on playing this game daily or a lot and and you, you plan on getting to level 50 regardless I would recommend you don't buy this this expensive bundle <clears throat> just buy the 990 uh standard survivor pass and just level up and if you if you get towards the end of the pass and you don't see that you're going to complete it then maybe buy the um the level up coupons because that's a lot of extra g coin for for in my opinion not a lot of extra stuff like considering you would get it anyway <clears throat> all right <clears throat> so we got the ready to rock barrel uh survivor pass punk wave and 30 levels of the coupons boom you've upgraded survivor pass punk wave complete missions to earn rewards yeah yeah i'm liking it i'm liking it next survivor pass has been raised from level one to level 31 lego all right so we're gonna just go ahead and claim all of these items um since obviously we got 31 levels so let's go claim uh sheer punk top. i'm gonna go take a look at him in game after i claim him so we'll just claim i can claim all can i that's not as fun is it i want to individually collect all my rewards i can't believe they still have these in there the seven day um clothing uh preset things those are so silly man that's so silly i want to rock rock dun, 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 dun. Ooh, I want to see what this emote looks like. They're also supposed to have a flex emote. I need to see what that team flex emote is all about. These helmets remind me of like insects, like a big fly. Oh yeah, get them all. Boom, get them all. Ooh, dude, I like that G36 i like that g36 very nice okay so one thing okay i was i was just about to say one thing i'm kind of nervous about um i didn't see any g coin yet because uh, remember how PUBG usually lets you earn back the g coin up until level 40 there's nothing almost at, wait almost level 50 oh here we go so once you get to level 55, so the, the pass actually ends at level 50 here. This is the last thing you're going to unlock. If you continue playing after that, level 55, you get 100 G coin. Uh, level 65, you get 100 G coin. Oh, so you only get 200 G coin back. They used to make it to where you got all of your G coin back. You only get 200 G coin back now. Now, they do give you 
10 contraband coupons, which is, well, I can't see how much that costs because we don't have the contraband store. Uh, I want to say it's like $2 per contraband coupon. So that's like 180 G coin. So, I mean, I, I guess it kind of does even out if you add up all the contraband coupons, but interesting how they decided to do that. All right, let's take a look at the actual items that look in game. Uh, this is the serpent t-shirt here. This is the, uh, what, what top, the punk rock top. Yeah, the, the presets are silly. They just need to, they need to not do that for a limited time. That's pretty cool looking. Bad to the bone top. What's up, Zeph? The sheer punk top? That's got Santa written all over it if I've ever seen it. What's up, Olsi? Uh, serpent tongue jacket? I'm kind of vibing with that. I'll put that on. We got the punk princess skirt. Rebel mind jeans. Okay, those actually aren't bad looking. That's pretty cool. Like a little, little helmet skull thing going on there. Punk rock pants. The pants says hard men. Oh, hard meta. Wait, hard men or hard meta? Hmm. Uh, those are pretty cool. Bad to the bone pants. Whoa. Some sheer punk shorts. You call that shorts? Ooh. Sheesh. Uh, we got some boots. Some sneakers. And some boots with some stockings on it. All right. Uh, what else? Level two lid. I'll take that. Level one lid. Yeah. I guess I'll put it on. Ooh, here it is. Dang, I do like that. I like, I like, I like, I like, I like that. I doubt it says hard man. I'm just saying it might, man. They put 8D in the freaking patch notes. <laughs> uh like the barrel i like that too it's this is definitely not going to replace my bad to the bone barrel but this is this is good i think if you don't already have a good barrel skin this is a good one like i love when they take the time and they do like different accents up here where where you spend a lot of your time adsing i wish they had done a little something more but I, I like it it looks good it's not too over the top but just a little you know a little color pop in there uh, we'll we'll equip it for today since we're on the test server and stuff but uh, same thing with the shotgun. Like, I I don't... My, the skin looks good. I don't think I'll ever use the shotgun because I have this skin now. But if you do use the shotgun, I think it's a pretty cool skin, you know? I got nothing against that. Where Where's my G... Uh, I equipped the G36 already? Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh, now this is what I need to see in game, yo. I need to see this punk axe. This thing replaces the crowbar. This is freaking cool. This might be one of the coolest skins they've actually done. Equip. Like, imagine just running around throwing this freaking guitar at someone. That's going to be freaking cool. What's up, Zara? Oh, yeah. We're looking risque tonight. Okay. Sure. We'll, we'll equip that. All right. We'll do that. Seasonal BP, yay! Uh, contraband coupons. Don't forget, buy your ten coupons a week, even though it's test server and there's no contraband store. Just get into the habit. Let's get our get our crates. You can buy six of these a week. Oh, a contraband crate. I actually haven't seen that before. The annoying thing to me with these crates, chat, is that a lot of the crates you open up require keys and those keys cost g coin so like you get these crates well these don't need keys so i, I guess i could just open these or oh, i have keys that's why i don't need them all right i got one contraband coupon nice so open what's in this guy oh yes a red t-shirt what's in this guy Yes, cargo pants beige. What's in this guy? Yes, a great tank top. What's this one? Oh, a rugged beige M16A4. <gasps> oh, rugged beige crossbow. Oh, rugged 
Rampage S686 shotgun. Sheesh. Y'all didn't tell me we had these, ga these guns in here. Skins, skins, these guns. Can't speak English. Golly, Bobby. All right. Um, how how are we feeling on our on our wardrobe here? Let's let's put these pants on. I'm I'm actually I'm not mad at this outfit, guys. Like I want I want hold on, hold on. Uh, oh oh here they are, level forty eight. We need to get to level forty eight. I want that. Look look at these. I can't zoom in. I don't think, huh? No. I want those. Those are so stinking cool looking. I want those bad. Add to the bone. Bad.